What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. New fast food menu items are dropping all the time. Taco Bell's got new tacos, Wendy's puts out some weird thing on pretzel bread, and KFC is just now dropping a new scorcher. The problem is though, I'm on a diet. I'm trying to look good and feel good. So driving through a fast food restaurant and eating a thousand calorie sandwich really ain't in the cards. But that doesn't mean that we can't recreate it at home in the best manner possible. So in today's video, we're making an anabolic KFC Kentucky scorcher. Not only is this gonna be one of the spiciest sandwiches we've ever made on the channel? Once you try this healthy fried chicken slapped between two buns with a special sauce, you're gonna be coming back for more. And if in another life you were a fast food addict and you're trying to change things around, make food at home that actually fits into your diet that you can see results and build muscle by eating, then perhaps check out my cookbook, which is available at the first link in the description box. We got every recipe on the channel broken down and easy to use guide. It's gonna tell you exactly what to do. All you gotta do is make it and eat it. If that sounds simple, then check it out. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. All right, ladies and gents, if y'all are ready another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Now to start this recipe off, we need some chicken breast. You can buy it whole at your grocery store for pretty cheap. I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. Now the first thing we're gonna do is remove a whole chicken breast from the pack. We wanna start trimming this up. I recommend scissors, it's gonna save you a ton of time and also make you the butt of a few jokes. And all I'm looking to do here is remove some of this excess fat from the outside, any gristle, any weird pieces I see. Something like that right there is good to remove. And my goal here is to get this to weigh around 168 grams. I'm gonna take this huge piece off the end, put this back in my container, then I'm gonna set this on the scale and see where we're at. That's 185. I'll take this little bit right here to round it out. And there we go, 168 grams exactly. Now what I wanna do is thin this out a little bit. Don't gotta do anything too crazy. I just like to take my knuckles, press down on it a little bit. That's gonna thin it out and make it cook more evenly. Now that the chicken's ready to go, I'm gonna set it off to the side, and then I'm gonna grab a food scale and a large mixing bowl. Now with the KFC Kentucky Scorcher Sandwich, everything about it is meant to be spicy, even the breading, so that's what we gotta do. I'm gonna start by weighing out 20 grams of white flour in my large mixing bowl, then I'm gonna add two grams of paprika, and then a gram of red cayenne pepper powder. If you are sensitive to things that are spicy, you can always dial this back a little bit or not even include it. And then finally, I'll add a dash of seasoned salt and a dash of black pepper. Now I'm just going to shake it up until it's mixed. And in order to make sure this chicken gets extra crispy, we're gonna be doing a double breading method. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my chicken breast, toss it down in the breading, give the bowl a little shake. After that, we'll go ahead and flip it over, do the exact same thing. And once we got on a nice little base coating, I'm gonna dip this down into a bowl of egg beaters, let it get fully submerged. And after it's been down there for about 45 seconds, I'll pull it out, let the excess egg beater drip off, maybe give it a little shake, help it out. Once that dripping slowed down, transfer back to the breading bowl, give it another shake. Go ahead, we'll give it another flip, shake it up again, and boom. Boom, at this point it's looking pretty good. I'll just go in, if I notice any spots, I need a little breading, I'll just pinch some out of the bowl, pat it in, and make sure this thing has as much breading as possible. We accounted for it in our macros, so we might as well make sure this thing turns out as crispy as humanly possible. And if you made it this far in the video, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. The hardest part is over. What we're gonna do is open up our air fryer, grab our breaded piece of chicken, and set it down inside. If you have any extra flour left in your bowl, you can go ahead and just kind of pile it on here. All that's gonna add is more crisp to them bites. And once it's in here, what I wanna do is hit each side with a little bit of nonstick spray, dampen it a little bit. That's gonna ensure it crisps up how we want it. So hit it real quick, then I'll grab it, flip it over, and do the exact same thing again. And at this point, the cook is pretty easy. We wanna set it to 400 degrees. We're gonna cook it anywhere from 14 to 18 minutes. That cook time can vary based on how thick your chicken is. I always recommend if you're in doubt, stick a thermometer in 165 degrees, you'll be good to go. I'm gonna start with 14 and we'll see how she looks. Let's go. How are we doing today, bud? Are we doing good? You ever get tired of being so handsome? He's handsome. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Is that yours? What is this? Is that a milk chocolate PB&J Anabar with 21 grams of protein? And get a load of this. We got that milk chocolate coating, the consistency of a baked good or a candy bar. How can we lose eating like this? Cheers. Mm. If you think that protein bars this good shouldn't be legal, wait till you see what I'm about to show you. Introducing Anna Butter.
Yes, you heard it here first. Anabar is no longer just a protein bar company. As of March 17th, we're gonna be dropping some spreads. These are by far the best tasting spreads on the market. And I know once they come out, just like Anabars, you try them, you're gonna be a believer. Set a reminder on your phone right now. March 17th, we're gonna sell out. These are super limited. Finalbossformance.com. Code RGF10 will save you 10% as always. And in the meantime, go get yourself an Anabar, baby. Mm. Now let's get back to the show. Oh man, check it out guys. This is why I love an air fryer. We have perfectly breaded crispy chicken that didn't require all the deep frying, the oils, the additional calories, none of that, but we still get all the crispiness and all the flavor. So we'll let this cool for a second. Now what we gotta do is grab a small bowl so we can begin to make our scorcher sauce. We'll start with 45 grams of light Miracle Whip. Light mayo works well for this too. Next we wanna add a gram of paprika, another gram of our cayenne powder, and then finally we need to add a little bit of hot sauce to this. Since this sandwich is notorious for being hot, I decided to go with ghost pepper sauce, which momentarily my taste buds are probably gonna hate me for. I'll just put a little splash in here, maybe about five, 10 grams. And then once we got it all, I'm just gonna go with a spoon, mix everything together until it's smooth. And now that we got the sauce, it's time to build. What I'm using for a bun is a Pepperidge Farms slider bun with the butter flavor. These are only 100 calories and perfect to use on any sandwich. If you wanna save calories right off the bat, go with the slider bun, you're gonna lose some carbs and your body's gonna thank you for it. Now the first thing we wanna do is place our bottom bun and spread some of our secret sauce right on the bottom. After that, I'm gonna lay down about 25 grams of pickle chips. That should give us full coverage. We're gonna follow that up by laying down our chicken patty. And then finally, we put the rest of our sauce on the top bun and sit it right on top. You'd be lying to yourself if you looked at this and didn't think that it looked amazing. The best part is we were able to recreate it with a fraction of the calories over the regular version. Losing weight, building muscle, following a sustainable diet doesn't mean you're just eating chicken, rice, and broccoli. All it means is that you're getting into your kitchen using a little bit of ingenuity, putting in a little bit of work, and making stuff that fits right into your diet. If you made it this far into the video, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Helps the algorithm. Subscribe for more great recipes all the time. And before this gets any colder, I think it's time we put her where it counts. Let's go. Now, before we put this thing in our mouth, I gotta let you know about Young LA Apparel. The shirt I'm wearing, the Ultra Flex long sleeve, super comfy. Hugs the shoulders, hangs off you down around the stomach in case you haven't started cutting yet. And you don't want something too tight, it's literally the perfect fit. Or the joggers I got on, the perfect joggers. We got wallet pockets, cargo pockets, pockets for your keys, literally for lifestyle. So you're not worried about putting on a pair of pants and wondering where the keys and the phone are gonna go. On top of all that, the quality is amazing. Literally every single video that I put out, this is what I wear. It is perfect for dressing up, going to the gym, going from running errands to the gym and still looking good and stylish. I'm telling you, if you haven't already, you need to try this stuff out. YoungLA.com, code RGF will save you 10% and it'll support the channel. And on top of all that, I promise you try this stuff out, you are absolutely going to love it. And even if you just want a nice hoodie, these high neck hoodies from YoungLA are not only super comfortable, but also dressy and classy. So if you get one of these, that's not only cheaper than the competition, especially after you use code RGF, but you're gonna look so freaking good, I guarantee it. Make Make sure you check them out. You will not regret it. All right, folks, now let's move on to the Sammy. Will you take a look at this thing? We got sauce leaking everywhere, which is a problem I like to have with sandwiches. Oh, son, I did have to turn it around because this thing's got a tail on the back end, but that's okay, it's more protein. Y'all ready? Three, two, one, let go. Mm -hmm. She's a little spicy, but boy, is she good. I'm telling you, when you make the chicken like how I did, this thing literally has the texture and flavor of a spicy chicken sandwich patty from Wendy's, which used to be one of my favorites until I found out how bad it was for me. Paired with our secret sauce, the chicken breading, the pickle, whew, this is definitely one you gotta make. Now, in the entire sandwich, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with the whole thing is only 391 calories, seven grams of fat, 43 grams of protein, 39 grams of carbs, with one gram of fiber. 390 91 calories for a meaty, saucy, spicy chicken sandwich. I'll dare you right now. Look up the nutrition facts for the KFC Scorcher and the differences will literally blow your mind. And that's what we're trying to do with the anabolic diet. We don't get to give up what we love. We make better choices. I'd rather eat three of these than one Kentucky Scorcher any day of the week. And here we go, ladies and gents. We are down to the final bite and there's no time to waste. Mm. 
Holy cow, that is spicy. Make sure you have a jug of water nearby. Ooh. Ay, caramba. That is fire. You gotta make it. You gotta tag me on Instagram and let me know what your thoughts are. And if you got my cookbook, you already know it has been updated. Go grab your most updated copy. This is now in there, along with all the other recipes. If you enjoyed this one, perhaps check out my book. Available at the first link in the description. Like I always preach, you get it one time. Every time we add a new creation to the arsenal, you're gonna get it free of charge. That's the RJF promise to you lovely people. Appreciate you guys as always. If you have a fast food sandwich you wanna see me wrap my lips around, let me know in the comments below. Did you see the Anna Butter? What you think about that? Has anybody tried Young LA apparel and are you now in love like I am? If any of those apply, let us know down below. And with that, I am out of here. Thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you with the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We gone.